And I want to start uh, with you, uh, Ron. Does this one-on-one -on -one between Marco Rubio and Donald Trump marginalize Ted Cruz? I mean, we haven't seen or heard much from or of him uh, since we've seen this sustained back and forth between Cruz and, uh, sorry, Rubio and Trump. Well, I don't know where that comes from. I mean, Ted Cruz is aggressively campaigning throughout the SEC primary states all the way up through Super Tuesday. We've got Texas Governor Greg Abbott, very, very popular here in the state of Texas, out campaigning uh, here in the state along with Lieutenant Governor uh, Dan Patrick and, uh, and Rick, former Governor Rick Perry. Uh, so Ted Cruz had a strong uh, performance in the debate the other night. Uh, he's uh, aggressively on the ground in, the key, uh, in those key SEC states, and we're doing well. We're going to win Texas. Mark Marco Rubio has this burning dumpster fire of his poll numbers back in Florida that he has to uh, be worried about. He still can't explain where he's going to actually win anywhere on Super Tuesday, much less, you know, thereafter. So I think we're in a very, very strong position, and Ted Cruz is campaigning hard. You know, uh, Donald Trump paid uh, your candidate a rare compliment, a backhanded compliment, but it was a compliment. I want you to watch this. I have had, you know, I've had a lot of difficulties with Ted because he does lies. You know, I've dealt with much tougher. A guy like Rubio is a baby, but a guy like Ted is tougher. I will tell you, actually, he's tougher. And he's actually smarter, in all fairness. Ted is actually smart. I have to give that to him. He's a smarter person than Rubio. So what do you think about that? Uh, I guess a backhanded compliment to hit back at Rubio, but Donald Trump calling uh, Ted Cruz smarter and a tougher guy. Well, I mean, that's very nice, but Donald Trump is not in a very good position to evaluate any of the candidates, particularly when it comes to their honesty. I mean, look, Donald Trump said that uh, he's won, quote, most of the lawsuits over his uh, fraud problem over um, uh, Trump University. And in fact, the Washington Post this morning is reporting that that's actually not true at all. They gave it uh, three of their, you know, Pinocchios, because those three lawsuits, uh, two of which are class action, have not been resolved. So, uh, you know, Donald Trump is not a very good judge of uh, anyone else's character or himself, for that matter. Well, you know, I think it's, it, if anything is a vote of confidence in Ted Cruz, it's having a bunch of Washington, D.C. insiders, uh, you know, uh, laughing at a joke like that. I mean, look, Ted Cruz said that he was going to go to Washington, D.C., and he was going to challenge leadership in both parties, particularly he was going to challenge leadership in the Republican Party, which he's noted quite accurately that in conflict after conflict with Barack Obama, that Republican leadership, uh, they surrendered before breakfast. Uh, and, uh, and we've seen that to be true, and that message resonates with Republicans who've been very frustrated with the lack of progress in terms of moving forward with a Republican agenda, even though we've won the House and even though we've won the Senate. You know, Ted Cruz did not go to Washington, D.C. to change who he is and become somebody else and, and try to tr uh, you know, climb the ladder. Ted Cruz went to Washington as an insurgent conservative candidate, and he's remained a cons an, an insurgent conservative leader challenging that status quo. That is a winning message that resonates very strongly with Republicans who very much want to have someone who wants to challenge that status quo.